Like you say, only three points off the playoffs. It's not an insurmountable gap. <laughs> CDP50 in chat says, the wind's going to play a big part today. I say, yeah, exactly that. I had no sooner put my team sheet down on the desk at Tom, it were sooner out of the stadium on the, and on the railway line. It is, it is blustery, to say the least. Really, we could be seeing some good football coming. Now, guys, they come away with it. Johnson, ball down the line. It's into Pratt. It's a good run in behind. He's on the right-hand side. Pratt, he's got work to do. Cross comes in. It's a good cross. And it was nearly met by Denton at the back post, but just drifted out of play and behind for a goal kick. But it's met with warm applause because that was a good move. Now, here's Kendall. Bit of space on the left-hand side. Murphy's made a run down the left. Kendall chooses to send one into the area. It's towards Denton. Falls to the feet of Pratt, edge of the area. Pratt takes it down the line. Cross comes in from Pratt. It's well gathered by Pilling with Hardcastle but play continues and now it's Pedro skips away what Ryland's break into the area ball comes in it's set back to Toure but it's cleared away by Kendall shot comes in and it's wide of the post long ball forward it's up towards Johnson Johnson might get there Johnson he gets the right side of Smith Johnson plays it off to Callan Murphy left foot shot it's blocked by James Butler and it's out for a throw Mariette it's a great pass out wide to Partington and Partington's got a bit of space to run into it. Partington passed down, reverse pass down the right with his left foot. He was looking for the run of Pratt, but Pilling's quick off his line together. Drives forward with it. He's got Burns for support down the left. He uses Burns. Still Burns takes it down the outside of Partington, beats Partington, cuts it back. Shot comes in from Hardcastle, it's blocked. And eventually, guys, they clear it away. Now Pratt skips past his man and comes forward with the ball. It's infield to Denton. Denton flicks it onto Johnson. Johnson carries forward. Johnson's pass is into Callan Murphy. And it's got too much on it and Pilling's out together. But that was a good, quick counter-attacking move by Geisley. And Liam Tug applauds the effort to take the throw. Well won by Murphy in the air. And with that, the referee brings to a close the first half. Not been a classic of a first half. There's been a couple of chances. Gabriel Johnson has had a shot blocked. Uh, Reese Kendall had a, had an effort that was that was wayward and uh, and went over the crossbar. Warrington Rylands dragged an effort wide of Ollie Battersby's post and had a couple of set pieces late into the uh, late into the first half, but nothing to really trouble either keeper. Truth be told, and at half time it's it's guys Linnell Warrington Rylands one Tom. It could go on in our favour here a bit. If we overhit the passes a little bit more in the second half with the wind against us, they might turn into decent passes. Gabriel Johnson gets the second half underway. Now it's Hardcastle. Sends the ball forward. It's looking for Pedro. Flag stays down. Battersby comes out together. Still Huff cuts inside onto his left. Goes the other side of Kendall. Cross comes in from Huff. Cleared away by Eibel. And it was going out for a throw up until the wind had it say and uh, put it behind for a corner. Cross comes in, it's low, it's the front post, it's flicked on by Smith, it's met at the back post by Jovan Pedro, and it's deflected over the crossbar by Reese Kendall and behind for a corner. And that is a crucial block by Reese Kendall, because that was goal bound, Tom. Yeah, absolutely incredible block. And Nor does it look like it's overhanging the quadrant. It's taken anyway, corner comes in, it's it's in there, and it's and Jovan Pedro takes the shot, and it's still blocked on the line oh by my. Tom Pratt. I think it was Smith who had the shot, and eventually Geisley conspired to get the ball away, and it's out for a Ryland's throw. Just absolute bodies on the line kind of defending that. I can't believe that hasn't gone in. Absolutely incredible, really. The first effort was blocked, and then it was, I think the shot came in from Smith, and Tom Pratt was throwing himself on the line there to keep the score at nil. No, it was brilliant defending. Ryland's attack first. Pedro takes a snapshot from the edge of the area. It's blocked, but only as far as Burns. Now to Huff. Huff, right-footed effort, takes the shot. Huff, it's curling, and it's over the bar, and it'll be a Geisley goal kick. That was a good effort from Ben Huff. And now there's a pass down the line, and it's Burns. He's in a lot of space on the left-hand side. It's a 3v3. Cross comes in from Burns. It's headed away by Kendall only as far as Pedro, edge of the area. Pedro shapes to shoot, doesn't shoot. And it's in from Mamadou Touré. Pedro was cool and calm on the edge of the area. And he picked out Mamadou Touré to his left-hand side. Who's right-footed shot. Flies past Ollie Battersby and opens the scoring. And on 65 minutes, it's Geisley nil. Warrington Rylands won. Well, picked him out as the danger man. And that's why, because he gets goals. And it's, it's one of those where they've broken really quickly, really effectively as well. 
Again, the frustration is that first block's made. Normally, that's the end of it, but Ryland's kept going. Free kick comes in from Maria. It's going to fall to Michael Affier at the back post, and it's a tame effort from Affier, and it's gathered by Pilling at his near post. Men forward to see whether the free kick adds anything to it. Maria, it goes up. It's headed away by Butler as far as Affier, edge of the area. Affier shapes the shoot, does shoot. It's blocked. Then it's going to be picked on by, picked up on by Brockbank. But Affier gets on the ball. Left foot shot by Affier. It's blocked by, I think it was Hardcastle. And now Pedro comes away with it. Pedro skips away from Affier. But Mariette does well. well. Mariette looked like he filled in. But Michael Affier has been booked for the first the first time this afternoon and Michael Laffey I thought he might was going to get a second yellow card there because he was booked by the referee and just blatantly laughing in his face when he got the yellow card yeah Tuesday becomes even more important now here's Hardcastle cross comes in it's towards Butler wow. Butler gets ahead on it and Cockerline finishes it off there we go it was a good cross in from Hardcastle well one in the air by Butler and it was straight at, it, into the uh, straight at the feet of Dan Cockerline about a yard in front of Ollie Battersby who had stood no chance and Cockerline made no mistake in front of goal from close range and in the second minute of additional time at the end of the 90 it's guys the nil Warrington Rylands too. Congratulations to Warrington Rylands and all three points it's deserved they've been clinical it's a really nice goal it's a simple header down and then a really simple finish 2-0 Warrington Rylands moving a big step closer to those playoff places getting them confirmed Exactly that, really. Six minutes is on the clock. Cross comes in from Johnson. It's up towards Murphy at the back post. It's going to fall to Tom Pratt. It's the shot wide of the post. Back to Partington. Discuss the pass forward. And the referee brings the game to a close. So it's finished here at Nethermore. Geisley nil, Warrington, Rylands 2. Mamadou Toure grabbed the opening goal for Rylands on 65 minutes after he was set in on goal by Jovan Pedro. It was a really well taken finish. And then in the second minute of additional time, it was Dan Cockerline, the substitute, having only just come on the pitch, who lashed home an effort from close range. And and that was that, really. The Geisley didn't really get going, and Warrington Rylands were, were, were thoroughly convincing in the win, uh, by far the better side. And, and with that, it's a result that does leave Geisley six points off the playoffs, as every single side above the Lions in the Northern Premier League won today, who were playing. I mean, with the exception of Macclesfield, who were in FA Trophy action. So it's lost ground on the top five. Four games to go, six points off the playoffs. And an all mighty important visit from Works at Town on Tuesday night. Liam, where do you think that game got away from us today? Uh, I think, like I say, we said before the game, it's going to be a game of two teams trying to nullify each other, especially when there's so much riding on these last few games. And it'll be the team that takes their chances and just does the foundations right. We've probably slipped all our concentration the second goal and the first goal, the first goal we've just not defended it right, we've not recovered right and the second one we've obviously we've not won the first contact and we've certainly not won the second contact, obviously from last time I always say, first and second contact at any level of football you've got to pride yourself on doing the foundations right, obviously as daft as it sounds the effort level's there there's no question about that, the intensity in which we try and do things is there and people take pride in that I said to the lads we should take pride in the fact that so late in a stage of a season, you've still got something to play for, and it must mean something. And again, they're a team that have not been beaten away from home. No, I believe not. Yeah. And like I say, they do they do the basics right, which is why where they are in the table. They um, they work hard. They're confident. They do the right things and they make the right decisions. Yeah, we can say like say the wind in the first half and did we use it effectively? But it's hard because like I say, this time of the year you can't you can't control the weather so. <laughs> It's not the ideal start in the sense of how we want to run these last five games. What I said to the lads in there, there's four more big games there. And I said, if we don't have that belief of wanting to be somewhere come the end of the season, then there's no point in doing it. You might as well just say there's four games, but everyone in there agrees in the fact that you take it as long and as deep as possible. So if it means winning four out of four and putting our necks on the line, it's certainly something that we're up to the task of doing. And again, like I say, we've had chances, we've... It's just not fell the right side of it. And sometimes when you're in that little bit of a rut, you're on the wrong end of it and you don't get the, the rub of the green. But it's an exp it's, it's character building for lads. And again, it's just making sure we have that belief more than anything that no matter what score it is, you can get yourself back into the game. And again, it's a bit of frustration in there because again, we know the highs of what we've reached and we've probably not met them. And that happens when you put in a certain standard and a certain 
you're trying to reach that certain level. It can happen if you don't, if you fall under that line. And if you, like I say, if you were a neutral today, you'd probably say that over the course of the 90 minutes, it was a game of few chances. And I think other than the two chances and a couple that we had in the first half, they weren't meant, they weren't much in it. So yeah, it's a tough one to take. But again, like I say we moved to Tuesday now. I've always said that there's a rat of time to put it right and. People remember the last four games of the season, regardless of what happens, and whether that means we win four on the bounce or not. That is the aim, and again, you want to finish the season on a high, regardless of what happens. Obviously, it's, it hurts and it's not ideal, but we're certainly not out of it. And people need to realise there's still a lot of football left to yeah, be played. I mean, I, I mean our, our playoff chances have obviously taken a blow today, but from listening to you, you've not given up on that. Yeah, I said to the lads, I don't care if we go to work into the way last game of season and we need four results to go our way. It means that we're in a position where we've done something right to get to this position. Um, lads have to have that belief. It's not, no one's going to roll over and give you three points. It don't look. It don't work that way in football. We know how ruthless this league is. So, regardless of what happens, if we get to that final day and we've got something to play for, we've certainly done something right over the course of the season. And we'll look back at it and go right. This is where we should have gone right. This is maybe where we didn't. These last five games won't define where the whole season should be because these games probably from September, October, November, <laughs> December, January where we can look back on at the end of the season but for now it's focusing on each game at a time. Tuesday is a perfect game for us to it's that nothing to lose mentality across every team really. Lancaster did it to us they've got nothing to lose yeah. when you know you're playing with freedom and enjoyment that's when you play your best football and I said to the lads we don't look like we're enjoying it at the moment and you're not because when you're getting beat it hurts you go home it ruins your weekend but I said to the lads you draw a line under it, you turn up Tuesday, you stand up tall, you give your chest out and you say, right, we're going to give it everything we can over the next 90 minutes to try and get the best result we can. And whether it works or not, we'll only find out. But again, the effort and how people have reacted is superb. So it's probably not the, the dream start that everyone imagined. But like I said to the lads on Thursday and I said them today, it doesn't work that way in football. It doesn't automatically flip a switch and, oh, everything's No, there. because when you had your first period, Kertek, I think you... You lost your first game against Ashton and won the next five. <laughs> yeah, funny. football's funny, isn't it? Like, say, every team in this league's difficult, every game's hard, and it's us as a team now. Again, it's that no nonsense mentality of turning up with the right attitude, the right application to try and get the best possible outcome. So, whether that means we go to the end of the season, last game of the season, we've nothing to play for, or we've got something to play for, as long as we've done everything along that journey to get to that situation and we've done everything we know, we come off that pitch going. I've done everything I can today. Then again, I feel like we're in the right direction. Maybe we've agreed in there that we probably weren't all on the same hymn sheet today, which is difficult if you've got to do the fundamentals, run hard, first contact, second contact, recoveries, whatever it is, you've got to be out making sure you've got the, the fundamentals in place. And for the majority of the game, we did. But again, teams in this league will put you to bed. Um, and people will probably look at the scoreline and think, oh, yeah, it was a, a jolly up day for Warrington. But it's not, it's like you say, the two goals have, have come from errors in our part, but also bits of quality in theirs and bits of composure. So, yeah, they're a good side, aren't they? Yeah, and it, like you say, it's, they're there where they are for a reason. They've not lost a game away from home all season. It's incredible. So, like you say, regardless of who you're playing and what, what you're trying to achieve, it's going to be a tough game of football, regardless. You, you, you're taking the role to the end of the season, is that right? Yeah, so like I said, yeah. we've been asked to obviously take on for these next four games and yeah. see where it takes us. So again, like I said earlier on in the season when I did it, you just do what you can for the club. Obviously, you're being paid to play for the club and at the moment my season is <laughs> doing what I can to help this club move forward. So again, over the course of the season, we can look back at that after the Workington game. But for now, it's more about focusing on Tuesday, getting three points. And again, football's a funny old game, I always say it. Four, four games of football, is a lot of football left to be played. And um, Aidan Walker was carried off. Can you tell us what, what, what his injury yeah, is? Yeah, he's, he's had his shoulder strapped up a couple of times, so I think he's just fell funny on it. And Sam seems to think he might have uh, popped it back out. Um, so he's just on the way to hospital, I think. So yeah. I'll um, I'll give him a ring and see how he is. So. And, and Lee Whelan's out for one more game as well? Yeah, I think yeah. Lee's Tuesday's a, a bit too soon, given obviously when it's your injuries yeah. and things like that. I think it can become difficult. So he's... Um, He's not available for Tuesday, so he's a big miss. Everyone is, everyone's a big miss because everyone plays a part over the season. Everyone can play a certain part in a game, and a game. But we've got enough quality. We've got a good, a good enough depth across the board, um, regardless of who's injured, to make sure that we can get those three points. And 
again it's just that belief around not only the players the ground the club the staff whoever it is it's having that belief that we are a good team and yeah the last few results probably haven't gone our way but football's a game of fine margins and at the moment we're not on the right end of it so I can assure you that come Tuesday the lads will be there ready Tuesday to put it right thanks so much Norwich cheers thank you